Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to all of you. Just a word of welcome to this uh, gathering, which uh, uh, is expected to generate and produce uh, important results. Education is a, a human right, which makes it uh, a moral responsibility as well as a societal responsibility. As Pope Francis puts it, it is a summons to solidarity with current and future generation. SDG 4 calls upon the global community to ensure, I quote, inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all, unquote. There is nothing more essential to the sustainable development agenda than access to education for all children all over the world. We need to update the education system, intervening both on its contents and on its organizational setup. As we know, during the second modernity, we have moved away from the idea that education is about character building, focusing instead on the acquisition of knowledge and skills needed for a career or to meet market needs. We need a holistic vision of education, focusing on integral human dimension, seeking the true, the good, the beautiful. For a new education profile, we have to abandon I believe the utilitarian ethics, clearly inadequate to cope with the aporias of the libertarian individualistic outlook. The Aristotelian virtue ethics perspective is well placed to propose an ethic of personhood allowing the individual to distinguish right from wrong. As far as the organizational setup is concerned, Time has come to recognize that the Tayloristic model of organization is not at all adequate if we want to meet the challenges of a new education. It is not only a matter of moving from vertical to horizontal teaching methods. What is required is an organizational model capable of keeping together three fundamental elements, knowledge, skills and character. Indeed, wanting to do the right thing is something different from knowing the right things to do. And that in turn is something other than actually doing the right thing. The point is that knowing, in other words, thinking, does not necessarily result into doing. In other words, changing behavior. How to transform concept into actions? Connection is, the, I believe, the answer. The notion of connection appears already in the writings of Aristotle, but in recent times it has been abandoned in educational practices. Connection, conceived as the desire to learn, connects cognition and emotion to action. Educators must foster, therefore, the learner's connection. On the other hand, the instructor, the impart of knowledge, perform a, a different task. Innovation in education is absolutely essential, today more than ever. Digitalization and the transition to a knowledge-based economy are changing the learning landscape. Not only are professional profiles changing at pace, but students themselves are changing too. So it is not simply a matter of teaching technologies that have to be updated. What is required on top of that is to recognize that education is a structural social institution and that its structuring makes huge, huge differences to its intake processes and outcome. Instead, as we know, we continue it, education continues to be treated as a homogeneous concept, a taken-for-granted notion that everyone uses in the same way. Neither historically nor comparatively has this been ever the case. To conclude, uh, organizing the present workshop, the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences wants to offer an active contribution towards uh, the 
success of the global pact on education that will be signed on May 14th this year in the, here in the Vatican to express the direct willingness of Pope Francis. So thank you very much for your attention and many, many wishes for a fruitful job. Thank you.